Coming up, we'll learn about some of the many clubs offered at FHS. We'll also hear about how new school IDs will work in the future and catch up on sports with Sam Kicklack. I'm Alex Mills. And I'm Sydney Pickle. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is September 4th. We've got a great show planned. Let's start off with some world news. Since the beginning of 2019, an unprecedented number of fires have raged through Brazil. There have been more than 80,000 fires as reported by the National Institute for Space Research. Experts have said that most of the fires are caused by the slash and burn method of deforestation. People are clearing many of these plots for agricultural development to renew soil for new growth. Despite the large number of fires happening recently, wildfires of this nature are not a phenomenon in Brazil. That's all for World News. During football season, student cars need to be cleared from the park and the fitness center lot by 2.15, and from the parking lot between the football and baseball fields by 4.15. Students who don't move their cars may be subject to tow. Any student who forgets their student ID will need to report to the Phase 2 second floor office to get a temporary pass or see Miss Lawson to purchase a new one. Every year, FHS presents new groups of clubs for students to join and attend meetings for. Each club group features a wide variety of clubs that offer new experiences for students, including forensics, volunteer programs, and more. Abby Brandon has the story. Whether you're interested in speech, debate, volunteering, party planning, or foreign languages, FHS offers a wide array that caters to student interests. So ASTRA is a community service uh, organization that helps young people prepare to um, be involved in philanthropy throughout the, their community. Some of the benefits of being in our club is you learn how a nonprofit works. You also learn a lot of leadership development and lots of ways to be involved in the local level with community service projects within Fayetteville and the surrounding areas. Uh, you can join by coming to my classroom. It is room 3418. Um, we have an application, and you fill out that application and turn it into me and start coming to meetings. So, NFL is part of the speech and debate. You go to competitions where you have like pieces like a poetry, prose, a story you need to tell, uh, improv, you can do improv. Oratory, which is pretty much a precise speech about like a subject you know, informative, which is an informative speech, obviously, and impromptu, which pretty much a speech on the spot. You join this club by going to 3001, talking to Miss Johnson about seeing what forms you need to fill out, how to prepare pieces and stuff. Project Graduation is a post-graduation party for the seniors that comes right after they graduate and it is kind of an all-night party that provides a safe and fun atmosphere for graduating seniors and the hope is that they won't go out and, and try to drink or do other things that would cause them to get in trouble or get injured or hurt. To join Project Graduation, um, we need all the help we can get, and we especially need freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. That way we can provide for the seniors. Students are required to uh, interact with the community and, and ask community leaders for uh, help in us providing for the seniors for Project Graduation. Project plan. They do a lot of project planning and event planning and things like that. All you need to do is come to our first meeting, which is September 4th, um, and it will be in the PAC down in the front, and we'll just have our first meeting, and anyone can come and uh, join and, and participate. If you're interested in personal enrichment and community involvement, there's many to choose from. I'm Abby Brandon. Back to the desk. Thanks, Abby. The University of Arkansas is hosting a college fair on September 10th in the Arena Gym. There will be 85 schools represented. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors are invited to attend. Seniors will attend from 9 to 9.30, juniors from 9.45 to 10.15, and sophomores during EDGE from 12.40 to 1.10. Any freshman wanting to attend can stop during their lunch period. 
Today is the last day to turn in applications for new Alpha Theta. All application forms should be turned into your current math teacher. Any seniors taking second semester Comp 2 can contact a.reef at g.fair.net if interested in joining English National Honor Society. All other juniors and seniors will receive information through their English classes. Any students who will be 16 by September 1st are required to have meningococcal immunization by October 1st. Any students who don't receive their vaccination may be removed from school until proof is shown to the school nurse or an exemption letter is turned in. FHS put a new student ID system in place at the beginning of this school year that requires every student to wear an ID badge on a lanyard at all times. Each ID holds a chip that will allow students to access buildings. Students caught cutting out their chip will be responsible for buying a new ID. Aiden Bermillo has more. Fayetteville High School has put a new system in place to keep all students and staff safe through ID passes worn on a lanyard at all times. How do I feel about student IDs? I, I kind of... I don't see a point for them, basically, because we haven't used them yet once, and all the teachers are kind of on us about wearing them all the time when we don't even have to use them. I just don't see a need for them at all. Student IDs. Uh... The purpose of the chip inside the card is we're in the process of getting card readers, chip readers, inside uh, at the Bulldog Lobby and at the purple office stores and so there are students that have to leave during the middle of the day and go to class at the bark or something like that and so they need to get back in the building and so they'll scan to get back into the building and so that way we can keep that those doors secure and our campus secure from anyone walking in off the street. They're annoying, they really are, you know. You have to keep up with them, you have to wear them, but Dr. Dostal, he wants them as a safety idea, so I guess it's the safety way he wants to go. There's other ways you could take it out, but the name tags it is like, they're annoying, you know, it's like having a bad llama or it, it don't work like that. We are not tracking you guys. Please don't bite the chips out, cut the chips out. Um, I personally am the one that has to make all the IDs and I assure you I do not have time to track each one of you guys. Um, we're pretty sure that if you're skipping school you're not taking your ID with you and the chip is for the sole purpose of getting in the doors whenever they do become locked. Despite matriculation, student ID passes are not something to fear for students or for teachers. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Aiden Bramillo. Back to the desk. Thanks, Aiden. This summer, Ms. Simpkins and Mr. Holden are hosting a trip to Costa Rica. Some experiences include viewing a volcano, seeing crocodiles, and releasing baby turtles. Any interested students should stop by room 2303 or 1952 or email Mr. Holden or Ms. Simpkins for more information. Or visit the trip website at www.tinyurl.com slash YGCNWA. After the break, we'll hear about other clubs offered at FHS and catch up on sports with Sam Kicklack. We'll see you in 30. Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report. I'm Sam Kicklack. The Bulldog Sports teams kicked off the year with the girls' tennis at the Columbia Tournament, girls' volleyball against Conway, and football against St. John Vianney. Coming up this week, the football team plays in Owasso, Oklahoma, with kickoff at 7 p.m. If you can't make the game, be sure to tune in to the FHS TV live stream. To find it, go to YouTube and search FHS TV Dash Fayetteville High. As our sports programs all begin their seasons, we wish them the best of luck. That's all for this week's sports report. As always, don't forget to come out and support our Bulldogs. 
I'm Sam Kicklag. Back to the desk. Thanks, Sam. FHS HOSA is participating in a service project to help students in developing countries attend high school. They will be selling homemade bracelets for $7 during all lunch periods until the end of next week. All proceeds will support a student in Zimbabwe hoping to become a nurse. For more about the cause, visit the link in the student's announcements. At FHS, there's a club for everyone, whether it's chess or music. Some upcoming club meetings next week include DECA, History Club, and more. Here's Braden Calvert with the story. Group 5 clubs include Travel, DECA, Engineering, Arts Honor Society, Risks and Rewards, Student Advocate Refugees, and History Club. While all should be considered, here's how two of them operate. Our club is composed of art students, and especially ones who want to pursue art maybe after high school into college. So we do uh, projects in here. They have to do 15 hours of volunteer work, and often that is creating the decorations for uh, project graduation, but sometimes it could include uh, creating murals or doing service projects outside of the school that are part of the community. It also involves um, entering competitions. We have a state level competition called AYAA and that stands for Arkansas Young Artists Association. So I've been in National Honor Society since I was a freshman and we do a lot of fun stuff like um, we do a black box theater show in the spring and um, we have a lot of good opportunities like going to Crystal Bridges and um, meeting with working artists and this year um, I'll be president this year so I think we really kind of want to ramp it up. We're going to go on college visits so um, it'll be a lot of fun. It's a really good opportunity for um, students that want to work as an artist after high school. Uh, my club is DECA. It's an organization of marketing students. Uh, if you don't know what DECA is, it's an uh, organization that teaches students uh, about the knowledge of how marketing works and the skills needed to succeed in careers in marketing. We will make a homecoming flow in this October and we would love to have people to join us and help us with decorations and we will have a lot of fun. Be sure to consider Group 5 clubs as you make your decisions for clubs this year. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Braden Calvert. Back to the desk. Thanks, Braden. That's all we have for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High School for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Sydney Pickle. And I'm Alex Mills. We'll see you next time.